Governor Abbott is in town next week for his fundraiser over at Texas Tech, but a number of people are saying one important name is missing from that host list. Game X Tori Larned joins us now. Tori, what is making people upset? Lauren, on this list are 18 names, but none of those names are Chancellor Duncan. Now, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding Duncan's retirement from Texas Tech on Monday, and people are saying that this list without his name is just fueling the flames. 18 names on the host list, good, including then. three current Board of Regents members. George McMahon, another host of the event, says he donated to be a host because it would help build relationships. It's strictly a political fundraiser for the governor, and, and the purpose is to uh, maintain good relations with between the governor and Texas Tech University so that he will be our ally in the legislature. But with relationships between Chancellor Duncan, the Board of Regents, and Governor Abbott up in the air, so too is the public support. Three weeks ago, he gave an interview on how much he loved Tech, how much he loved his job, and how much he was looking forward to getting the vet school done. Three weeks later, he resigns because he's 65. Uh, it's not right. The Board of Regents is filled with Texas Tech system alumni appointed by the governor. You make a large donation to the governor and in turn you are eligible for appointment to the Board of Regents. And they hold a lot of power. They oversee all the policy decisions of Texas Tech and they oversee the appointment of the chancellor and the president. While McMahon and many others want answers from the Board of Regents and the state, he says the host list may not be what it seems. I know that's a popular conspiracy theory, but I think the presumption would have been that he would have been there as one of the, not so much the host committee, but would have been there as a, as a host, not, not the paid host committee. On Wednesday, Governor Abbott said that he was not involved in Duncan's resignation, but now McMahon and a lot of other people are just hoping to get answers by next week. Guys, back to you.